Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're unboxing the Makita 36 volt XRU15 PT1 36 volt brushless string trimmer. Just got this yesterday delivered by our friends at UPS. And behind this here is the old Husky 128LD two cycle string trimmer it served well but this thing is gone it's dead um i think this thing's about eight years old now pretty good i guess that i've gotten eight years out of a two cycle string trimmer um well i guess seven because this season doesn't count because it crapped out on me but um thought it was a carburetor issue put a new carburetor on it had it kind of running and was trying to get it adjusted and now this thing is just toast something internal has let loose um, you can yeah it's like something's binding up in there yeah i don't know i'm might still mess with this thing but you know at this point um i think it's a goner you can see she puked out all the fuel i don't know if something's cracked somewhere something internally is loose in the cylinder but uh, i've already put enough time in trying to get this thing going again that uh, it, was, it was just time to upgrade and i was thinking you know i could go to lowe's and buy this thing again for 200 bucks and get another five six seven years out of it um but honestly i mean even during that time i'd say after the second or third year it was kind of a pain in the butt you know you'd have to fiddle with the carburetor here and there and yeah, mix the gas just getting tired of it so figured i'd take a shot on this guy um they're running a sale 389 with four batteries um i've already got several makita cordless tools so i figured you know what well why not take a shot on a cordless trimmer and get some more batteries in the process my buddy um he's got a channel called fix it now he just did a, a one or a two year review on the same string trimmer he's had it for over a year and after watching his review i kind of had this bug in my head that this was going to be the way to go and so here it is so let's get it out of the box and show you what's in there okay so we got down to the bottom of the box everything's out and here we go Nikita poster Got some instructions for the charger. Got a warranty card. Um, if any of you haven't had any experience with Makita's warranty, I will say they do a great job. Um, just sent my cordless nail gun to them and they sent me a prepaid shipping label. They fixed it for free. Well, kind of fixed it for, kind of fixed it, but it was for free and then sent it back. Um, I don't think that's an issue with their warranty service. I, honestly, just uh, like I said in a previous video, the the 18 gauge cordless nail gun is the one tool. At least I think I've got the first generation version of it. I've had it for about four years, um, and yeah, so I was I was a little over the three year warranty, and they still fixed it um, on the house. But it's it's a little finicky. I mean, it, it does work, but it takes a little it takes about five or six nails to get it dialed in. But anyway, so we're back to this video. We got two batteries here got the trimmer itself two batteries there so four batteries total we got the dual port charger i need one of these like i need a hole in the head this is the third one i'm probably gonna be putting these on the facebook marketplace because don't need the ability to charge six batteries at the same time and then it comes with this cool little cool little hipster uh swag bag here and inside we've got string guard, handle, safety glasses. Nice touch, Makita. They really do think of everything. Shoulder strap. A nice feature. And the cutter head. That's the one thing my buddy said on his review that left a little bit to be desired. We'll see. We'll see how this thing does. It's got small line in it. I think it's 0.80. 
0.080 line in that. I usually like the thicker lines, but we'll see how this, how this goes. I've got 0 0.095 in the Husky. And feels like we got some more parts in here. There's some Allen wrenches and a cover plate here for the head. Okay, that's it. All right, so let me get this thing put together and give you my initial thoughts. Okay, so put this thing together. One thing that I noticed, a nice feature, um, and before I get the handle on, there's a little rubber isolator here for the handle. It goes on like that. And it goes all the way around. You got a metal clamp and then another metal clamp. These have the uh, the nuts welded on so you don't have to fiddle with them and hold them. And this rubber isolator, I imagine, will make make this feel a lot more comfortable to use, you know, in terms of dampening some of the vibrations. The other thing I like so far putting it together, again, the nuts are already captured in the, in the plastic of the guard there. All I had to do is put the cap screws in there and tighten them down. Didn't have to fiddle with the wrench. And then also everything I need to put it together, basically these two Allen wrenches, came in the, in the kit. So didn't even have to go back to the garage to get any tools so far to put this thing together. That's a nice touch. Okay, so before I put the bump feed head on, I just wanted to take it apart and look inside here and kind of see what's going on. I, I do kind of see what my buddy was talking about in his review. It looks like this thing doesn't hold a lot of line. And um, it came apart pretty easy once I figured out where to where to press on it to release it. Um, but it does look like this thing's going to be, I don't know, maybe a little more, maybe a little more chintzy than, uh, than some of the gas string trimmer bump feed heads. But yeah, I'm going to put this on and give it a try. Like I said, it doesn't look like it. it's got the, it's got the small line on it and it doesn't look like it's got a lot of it in there. So we'll see how it works. Okay, so we got this thing put together. Um, batteries don't have much of a charge on them right now. Uh, I can go back in and uh, maybe get some of my other batteries. But just initial thoughts so far. Um, pretty well made. I like how, like I said, you know, the handle's got this rubber isolator here. Um, so it's not going to vibrate your hand to death. You can still adjust the handle with this Allen screw and adjust it up and down and the angle to suit your needs but um yeah just take that one allen key and it's got a little holder back here on board holder for the allen key um first the first impression of this thing initially is how light it is i mean i'm, I'm picking this thing up one-handed um compared to the gas trimmer this thing's got to be at least 50 percent lighter um the uh grass guard down there a little small you can see on the on the Husqvarna there how, how big that one is and how small this guy is um, yeah I wish that was a little bigger um, here we've got a power switch we turn this to on and let me get this out of the Sun you can see the LEDs light up we got high low medium high speeds and the green light here tells us that it's on. This button is the reverse rotation. Let me get this to focus here. We push that button and the green light flashes. It'll, for about five seconds, it'll let the head rotate backwards to clear any clogs that you have. But um, yeah, so they've got enough of charge here. Thing spools right up pretty good. Comes to a stop really fast. Um, the one thing I don't like, this is the only way to control the speed, is which number you select here. The so one. That's two. And that's three. The trigger isn't variable. It's all or, when you pull the trigger, it's all or nothing. There's no way to... Uh, um, increase or decrease the power of the trigger which I would have preferred that but you know most of the time you run a trimmer you run it wide open 
So let's get do a test cut here real quick. Um, this isn't going to be a full in-depth review, but just a quick unboxing and initial thoughts. So. I mean, initial thoughts are, I mean, this thing is a viable gas trimmer replacement. Um, obviously, I got a lot more work with it to do to, to see how I really think it'll do. Um, see, got a lot of property here to uh, maintain. And kind of going out on a limb, giving up a gas trimmer and going to a cordless battery trimmer. Um, but I think this will do well for my needs, especially considering how many batteries I've got now. I've, I've got 10 of the five amp hour batteries now, um, with the other tools and stuff that I have on the platform and probably at least five or six of the three amp hour batteries. So batteries isn't going to be an issue. Um, you know, if they don't last long when I'm out there, you know, in the field working with it, that'll be a little inconvenient. But, um, I mean, initially it seems like this thing has got, got the power to, um, you know, for normal residential trimming tasks to, uh, to be a viable replacement. And it's so much lighter and so much more convenient. You just put fresh batteries in it, turn this thing on and go. There's no, I can't tell you how many times, including right now, you can kind of see around all my trees, nothing is trimmed here, um, because this thing doesn't work. And I just put that task off because that thing's you know giving me problems here in the last couple years whereas with this thing you know knock on wood as long as it doesn't crap out it's just push button and go and so I, I've already I've already um, experienced that same thing with the electric blower the, the Makita 36 volt cordless blower that I got that substituted a Husqvarna gas blower I mean I use my cordless blower almost every day a lot more likely to use it just because of the convenience factor and so i'm hoping that's going to be the same thing with this is that it's just going to be a lot more convenient to use and I'm, I'm more likely to keep up with those tasks here in the yard so we'll see how it goes I'll, I'll you know maybe in six months or so at the end of the the season when i've really given this thing a hot sup, hot bath um worked it <laughs> i know that one of those things there i was trying to say um when I've worked it hard for the season, do a more in-depth review, but you know, for now I'm satisfied with it. So thanks for watching. And if this has been helpful to you, feel free to check out some of my other videos on the channel. Take care.